please invite and welcome Jim Johnston, who is our the chairman of the Rotary Foundation Committee, to introduce our program today. Jim. I struggled to think what Rotary would be, what Rotary would mean without the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International. Not that this is likely, uh, but Rotary today is a network of 33,000 clubs and 1.2 million people around the gl globe tied together with professional and student exchanges, scholarships, water, literacy, and health projects, um, and a very near accomplishment of eradicating the entire world from a crippling and deadly disease. This year, our Denver Club 31 will raise $60,000 for the Rotary Foundation and another $26,000 for Polio Plus. What this means is that we need each of you to contribute in the range of $500 to $1,000, excuse me, in the range of $100 to $500 to Polio Plus and $200 to $1,000 to the Rotary Foundation. So I'm asking each of you for your help. Please help. There are pledge cards, pledge forms that are on your table. Um, and those of you who contributed in the past, major donors, Paul Harris Fellows, you may have seen their names on the screen a little earlier. Uh, thank you very much, and please continue to give. Today we have three speakers. Uh, Tom Wolfe, he is the director shareholder of Ireland Stapleton Prior in Pasco, PC. Uh, Tom is a, pa is a member and past president of the Denver Stapleton Rotary Club for 17 years. He's also a past assistant governor and past district international service chair. He received the district governor's discretionary award for service to the Rotary Foundation in 2009. And also, you may have seen if you were looking in the recent Rotary magazine that came out this month, uh, he received the Rotary Foundation's citation for meritorious service to the Rotary uh, for this last year, 2010. Uh, he currently serves as the District 5450 uh, Rotary Foundation chair that's Tom. Secondly, Carrie Drum is here today. She's a returning Rot Rotary ambassadorial scholar uh, from District 5450. Uh, she obtained a master's in international peace education at the United Nations University for Peace in Costa Rica. While in Costa Rica, Carrie worked for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, uh, and she currently is employed as an educational counselor with Denver Kids, uh, with a focus on immigrant and refugee students. Thirdly, David Talbot. David contracted polio in the spring of 1955, two weeks after the announcement of a vaccine success. Initially paralyzed, then in a wheelchair, then braces and crutches, and then only braces. By age 10, the braces were also gone. In 1986, David started a photography and videography business, which in 2005 brought him to Uganda for a documentary film project where he witnessed a woman whose right leg was twisted up around her back and touched her shoulder. Um, she was using a green tree branch as a crutch. This was the beginning of Crutches for Africa, a company he then founded that you'll hear more about. With that, I introduce you, Tom, take it over. Good afternoon. It's good to be here today. I just want to briefly say that I was I had the privilege of practicing law with Ken Coy later in his career for a couple of years, and it was a real privilege to know him and practice law with him. And I'm glad to be here today to honor Ken. Today we have a program. I'm going to have David speak and Carrie speak about what they know about the foundation. And I'm going to talk, ask questions after they talk. We put some discussion, some discussion questions on your tables today so that you can talk about the questions I'm going to ask you. So this might be a little bit like the test that you showed up for one day that you forgot to study for. But I'll help you with the answers today so we get that done. Now, I'm here talking about the Rotary International Foundation. Rotary International is an organization that's made up of us, Rotarians. The foundation is the fuel that funds all the programs that we do. The foundation is a 501c3 charity, like all the other wonderful charities that you give to. And we are an organization that helps fund the programs that Rotarians from clubs like yours do. Now, I believe that this is the best charity in the world, probably close to the Denver Foundation one of the best charity in the world, and I have a few reasons why I believe that. First of all, the money that you raise in your club for a project is multiplied. If you do a local project, our district and the foundation will match that dollar for dollar. 
If you do an international project and you raise a dollar in your club, that ends up being three and a half dollars with match from the district and from the foundation. There are a few charities in the world that will multiply the dollars that you raise to do good and make peace in the world. Second, 100% of the money, except in this district, more than that, that you give to the foundation goes to programs. The plan by Arch Klump, who founded the foundation, was you give a buck, we invest it for three years, and that buck comes back totally for programs. We're a super user district. We spend way more than we give to the foundation. As an example, about five years ago, we gave about three or 400,000 from this district to the foundation. Three years later, we did $1.2 million in grants. So we get back two or three times what we give to the foundation. Wouldn't work if all the districts in the world did that. We do it, we're a super user district. That is a term of endearment from the foundation in Evanston, believe me. Third, you and I decide where to spend the money of this charity. You do programs in this, in this community, in this state, and all over the world, so we get to decide where the money's spent. Fourth, the dollars go a long way. We can do a cataract operation in Guatemala for $90 because the Rotarians doing the operation for free. Local Rotarians are volunteering their time and people are donating the materials. My club was involved in a water project in Central America years ago that cost $20,000. To have a government do that, it would have cost $100,000. It was done for $20,000 because Rotarians engineered it, Rotarians built it. We're efficient at what we do and that's why we're a great organization, Rotary and the Rotary Foundation. We're also recognized in the world as being one of the 10 best charities in the entire world. There's a site called the Charity Navigator. And one of their categories is the 10 best charities that everyone's heard of. And we are number four in the world on this list. These charities are large, complex organizations with budgets exceeding $100 million and at least 65 million in net assets. They became household names in part because of their exceptional financial management no easy feat considering the scope and size of their organization. Charitable givers should feel confident that these national institutions put their donations to good use. That's our foundation. Be proud to be givers to it. Be proud to spend its money. Next, I'm going to introduce Carrie Drum, an ambassadorial scholar, to talk to you about her experience as a scholar. Carrie?